I gotta say, this entire video series from now on is brought to you by Ben because I am in survival mode. We are Ben and Rach, and we're spending the next nine days hiking 102 miles on the Cotswold Way. We're celebrating turning 30, and what better way than with blisters and sweating a whole bunch? Come along as we hike the Cotswold Way. Hello. <laughs> what is it day four? Okay, we are leaving Birdlip. Unfortunately, we did not get to see this town at all. We got in around 6 p.m. last night. We had dinner in the pub at the restaurant, went right to bed and up and at them, had some breakfast. And we are only covering seven beautiful miles today, which sounds amazing considering we did 17 yesterday we're we're excited we're excited to get into painswick and take a load off i think gotta keep telling myself like this is it's okay to hurt you know we're we're that's what we're doing it's a challenge we're getting to see beautiful views every moment so we have to do a little bit of um, some backtracking to get. That's not a trail. There is. Okay, we gotta go the long way around. Okay. Um, we have to do a little bit of backtracking to get back on the actual trail. So we're gonna try to find that. So, seven miles doesn't start until we get on the Cotswold Way. So, we're probably doing more like nine miles today. What's up? So, we're probably doing more like nine miles today. Yeah. Eight, eight and a half, maybe. So it's not that way. <laughs> yep. So hoping I can find a shortcut. It didn't work. <laughs> uh oh. Well, that uh, ridge line gets in the way a tad, but a little bit. Yeah. That wasn't. See, this is the problem right here. So, and there's the road. So we just have to go all the way oh, okay. down. Okay. That is pretty hot. Yeah, that's not really. There's no, yeah, okay. Not really. A I was like, well, maybe. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you 10 bucks to slide down. If you asked me at the end of yesterday, I would have done it. <laughs> well, we're an hour in. I'm curious, have we done two miles yet? Two miles? Two miles, come on. I don't think there's any chance we've done two miles. We haven't even been walking for, for an hour. <laughs> we've done one. We have not been walking. The time wise, yeah, but we've spent more time stopping and stretching than we have walking. But hey, the good news is, there's only six miles left in this day. That's great news. Okay, that's all I got energy for. All right, we're about three miles in. We were making the climb up Cooper's Hill. It's a big hill, Cooper's Hill. And that stretch was steep. We've kind of we came up and circled back around. You really couldn't get your heels on the ground that stretch. So that was just all toes and calves. Yeah. Up and over. Up and over. A little bit of climb left. Yeah. We're doing it. <laughs> Day four. It's hard. We're doing it. Only four more miles of today, which sounds amazing, considering it's only 1030. I'll take it. Yeah. Okay. Made it to the top. Good views. Good views. Ben can't sit down or he'll never get back up. No. Views worth it though. Yeah. Coming down from Cooper's Hill. Um, while we were at the top, we saw a couple walking their uh, German Shepherd blowing bubbles far. He was jumping up and popping up. It was great. We kind of made a comment about it, started talking. We we're heading the same direction for just a little bit. They just broke off. but. We just learned the World Cup, the Rugby World Cup starts Friday. That's a huge event over here. 
it'll be awesome to be here during that. Now the goal is going to be, we got to figure out when England plays. I'll do some Googling here in a minute because that'll just be something I wouldn't want to miss is watching a, an English national team rugby game in the Rugby World Cup in a pub in England. That sounds like a, an experience you can't miss. Okay, so Saturday. Just under three miles to go. Looks like we're coming out of the woods here. Step. The literal woods, not the metaphorical woods. About to cross a road up here. Let's see where we're going. This is one of the kind of weird parts of the trail. Every now and then you just have to sort of walk down alongside a road for a bit. Fortunately, I think drivers are, or it seems anyway, drivers are pretty good about keeping an eye out for people and moving over. Um, you ready? Yeah. Let's go. I gotta say, uh, this entire video series from now on is brought to you by Ben because I am in survival mode. The weird part about this walk today is um, it's been mostly the same kind of setting. Heavy or, you know, thick woods, kind of open dirt path. It's been beautiful the whole way, but not much change so far other than the couple of hills we've had to climb. Buckholt Wood. This is the, the woods we've been in this whole time. Oh, let's see. You are here. And I think, okay, Cooper's Hill of this way. So I think we've been coming down through that way and we're gonna keep on going. Yeah, cause we are heading south and west, if that makes sense. Hey, look at that. The yellow line marks the Cotswold Way. So that's been us. We did this little down and around. Now we're swinging through there. How you doing there, little boo? I'm surviving, but barely. So we passed signs saying, danger, you're entering a golf course. So it's like, okay, that's, that's good. So I'm figuring like the trail kind of runs alongside the course. It kind of clears out and it literally just has you like walking down the middle of the fairway. And there were guys playing. I mean, it was fairly busy. So it's like, all right, let's just jump off to the right. We go walking up, waited until the coast was hopefully clear because it was still kind of hilly. We sort of knew when guys were going to be teeing off and just kind of huffed it across. Kind of strange. As I said, less than two miles to go. It's getting hot. Of course, uh, Ben had to talk to one of the golfers. Yeah, it is. All right. Enjoy, Enjoy your round. It's hot. Talking <laughs> golf. Through the golf course, just over a mile remaining. The one thing we keep entirely overlooking, half the reason, if not more than half the reason, we're even here in the first place, it's this one's last day in her 20s. Woo. The big 3-0. And my birthday's in November. I'm also turning 30, so this is kind of a joint thing. But tomorrow, really kind of tonight, we're celebrating her 30th birthday. And I will truly feel 30 because things hurt that have never hurt before. That's what they say, right? You wake up on your 30th birthday and everything feels different. We've always been told your body just starts hurting right away in different ways once you turn 30. It's true. Well, I wanted to beat it to the punch. <laughs> what if like when we get home, I never recover and that's just been crazy. It's just always like this. Well, I think it is. I think at this point we are pretty much steadily downhill nearly the whole way. So it should be a little easier on the legs. For me anyway, Rich has been struggling on the downhill with her. She's been having some crazy pain on the, the muscles kind of along her hips. Yeah, uphill is much easier. Never, ever, ever thought I'd say that, but I prefer going uphill. Hiking with Rachel is very weird. Everything's backwards. Let's see. I think we did the math. We figured over the first three days, we did a little over 40 miles. No, no, or no, like 39.5. 39, 39.5, okay. So we'll be at like 46 and a half-ish after today. Tomorrow we'll be crossing over the halfway mark. Exciting times. Mm -hmm. Just 
scan this QR code to locate their cast. So <laughs> funny. That's funny. We are in Painswick, walking down to our hotel. It's almost one. Check it's... out the butt house. Oh my gosh. I can't with you. It'll be nice to have like a whole day in a town. I'd like to explore. Will we leave the room? I hope so. I hope I, I get it. I have it in me. <laughs> I'm so tired. So we just reached our destination and I was going through our paperwork and I realized we were so out of breath going up this one hill that we completely forgot that it was a hill we were looking forward to seeing. Cooper's Hill, which is where they have the like cheese rolling event where they roll a wheel of cheese down and you have to race down the hill. And is it outrun the cheese or just be the first one down? I think it's just first one down. And then you win the wheel of cheese. So we made it to the top of that hill. That's where I sat down and caught my breath and then we kept going, but if you look down past the gate, that's where they do that event. There it is. <laughs> Having bruschetta for lunch and then got a steak salad that looks so good. Yeah, this looks amazing. I feel so much better. We have been laying down for a couple hours and nothing hurts. This is amazing. I did not think I would be up for exploring the town, but here we are. I even did my hair. Ugh, who am I? So now we're walking around. Not too much to see, but there is this church, which I believe is St. Mary's, which is right across the street from our hotel. Some beautiful trees. Uh, feels a little bit like Alice in Wonderland, so. We'll do some exploring. Thirsty? <laughs> it's a flight. These are full glasses of wine. Of course. Look at that. I thought that was an area where they said there was an inn or something like that that had refreshments or something like that. We got a fan. I've brought you a fan. <laughs> that was great. Oh, yay. Oh, this one's... How many, how many speed settings does it have? We covered seven miles needed the short day today i did lots of breaks where i stretched so that was important mm -hmm. my legs are feeling ready today was a perfect like for me anyway it was a good like broke up the soreness mm -hmm. kind of just what the doctor ordered tomorrow's nine miles so it should be something similar we're again just trying to get out in front of the heat hopefully it'll be another good day oh yeah we are how many miles total done 40 I think 46, 46, 46, and a half. So tomorrow we'll be passing over the halfway mark, uh, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know exactly when or where that'll be. More to come tomorrow. Goodbye. That was my favorite day. That was the best thing in the world. That's why you come. That's it. That's, that's my, that's a highlight. So